this is amazing. Now we're going to see about Codestrel API. As you can see here, Codestrel has its own dedicated endpoint, starting with Codestrel Mistral.ai. In this, we have two different options. One is fill in the middle, and the next one is chat completions. Why this endpoint is useful? Because as per the documentation, Codestrel Mistral.ai comes with monthly subscription based. It's free until the 1st of August. And if you use api.mistral.ai, then they will charge on pay as you use. In this, we have multiple functions. One of that is fill in the middle endpoint, next completion endpoint, stop tokens, instruct endpoint, integration with the Langchain, and integration with the Llama index. We're also going to see how you can integrate this in VS Code using tab 9 and also using continue.dev. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Codestrel API. In this, we are going to go through various different functions, such as fill in the middle, completion, instruct endpoint, integrate with the Langchain and Llama index. All of this integration in Python code. And finally, we'll be able to look into integrating that with VS Code and JetBrains. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So ultimate goal of this tutorial is that you can efficiently integrate this Codestrel model in your own application. And also you can increase your productivity of code creation, code debugging by integrating this in VS Code and JetBrains. So first I'm going to show you how you can integrate this in your application. So first step, pip install Mistral AI, Langchain, Langchain Mistral AI, Llama Index, Llama Index, LMS, Mistral AI. So Mistral AI is the main package. To integrate this with Langchain, we are using these Langchain packages. To integrate this with Llama Index, we are using the Llama Index packages. That's it. And then click Enter. Now export your Mistral API key like this and then click Enter. You can generate this from Mistral website. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file, first fill in the middle. We are going to import OS, Mistral client, then getting the API key from the environment variable. Next client equals Mistral client and providing the API key. Now we are providing the model name that is Codestrel latest. Next giving a prompt and a suffix. So the prompt is a function and we are asking it to complete. But we are also providing the suffix that is the end section. So ultimate goal is to fill in the middle. So we have first section and the last section and we are asking the large language model to fill in the middle. Now response equals client.completion and providing the prompt and suffix. Finally, we are going to print the response, printing as you can see here, the prompt, the fill in the middle response and suffix so that the program will be all together. That's it. So fill in the middle is just simple. We are providing the prompt. That's the first line of the code, the suffix last line of the code and asking the large language model to generate or fill in the middle. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now you can see the full function got generated. So we initially gave this line, that is the prompt, and also we gave this line. With these both information, it was able to fill what it should be in the middle. That is good. So next, we are going to see about general completion. So we are going to just provide the prompt and we are expecting the model to complete. So client.completion and just providing the model and the prompt and finally printing the response. That's it. So just the prompt and asking it to complete. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And you got the response here. And here is the response. So we started with these three lines and it automatically generated these lines. That is good. So that is completion done. Next third, we are going to see about stop tokens. So what is stop tokens? We recommend adding stop tokens for IDE autocomplete integrations to prevent the model from being too verbose. So that is the ultimate goal, preventing the model from being too verbose. So how can we do this? Coming back to our code, we are providing the prompt as usual, providing the suffix, and then we are providing the prompt, then the suffix, then the stop parameter. So here, as soon as there is the output with two new lines, the generation will automatically stop. So that's the ultimate goal. Same as before, we are printing out the response, as you can see here. So just adding the stop will automatically stop the generation when the generation comes to an end. So these large language model will keep on generating. That is its default behavior. So this helps us stop that. So now I'm going to run this code 
commenting out the previous prints so that we get a clear output. Python output py new terminal and then click enter. Now we got the response here. So after two new lines, the generation got stopped. So next we are going to see about instruct endpoint. So we are importing chat message function. Then in messages, we are providing the chat message function with the role user and we are asking a question or a task to do. Write a function for Fibonacci series. Now next, chat response client.chat providing the model and then messages. This will use general instruct endpoint. And finally, we're going to print out the response. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code, Python output pi, and here is the response with general instruct mode, which means you are asking it to do something and it's just following your instruction. Now next, we are going to see about integrating it with Langchain. So from Langchain, importing chat mistral AI, now importing the chat prompt template, LLM equals, here we are passing the model name that is code still latest with the API key and the temperature. Next, we are using the LLM.invoke function. So this is one of the main thing in Langchain, where as a user, you're asking it to do this task. This could be of any task. For now, I'm asking you to do, to create a Fibonacci series function. That's it, only this much amount of code. We have integrated this code stroll with Langchain. Now I'm going to run this code, python.py, and here is the response. You can even parse this further and integrate this in your Langchain application. You can see the code here. That's what we asked for. Now the final step is to integrate this with Llama index. Step number six, integration with Llama index. From Llama index core LMS, import chat message. Next, importing Mistral AI from Llama index LMS Mistral AI. Now we are adding messages as before, chat message with the user and asking it to do a function that is creating Fibonacci function. Now defining the LLM, code still latest, using LLM.chat function and passing the messages. And finally, we are printing the response. That's it. Only with these few lines of code, we have integrated code still with Llama index. Now I'm going to run this code, Python output pi. And here is the response from Llama index. As simple as that. Now you are able to integrate code still with your Python application, with your Langchain application, and with your Llama index application. Now finally, we are going to see how you can integrate this with VS Code or JetBrains. To do that, we have two options. One is installing tab nine VS Code extension, which can be directly added to VS Code like this. And similarly, we got continue.dev. Here also you can add directly to VS Code. So in VS Code, there is the extension tab here. So click on that. There you can type continue. Then you can see this extension. I'm going to install and enable this. Now on the left hand side, you will have a function called continue. Click on that. Now at the bottom, you can see different models available. So initially it will ask you to choose the model and then I chose Mistral and then provided the token. By doing that, you are able to use Codestral. By clicking the plus icon, you are able to include other model providers as well. In my case, I clicked on models and then I have Codestral in the list. Just click on that and you can provide the API key if it's requested. Now we are ready. Now I can ask any questions here. Write a code to convert from GBP to USD and then click enter. So if you go to mistral.ai website, you will have Codestral. There you can generate your API key. And here you can see the response got generated. GBP to USD conversion. Now as an example, I can even choose this and press command L. And this code will be moved to the chat and I can ask a question, what this code is about. And it's telling me about the code. Similarly, I can ask you to refactor the code, fix any bug in the code and much more. Similarly, if you want to integrate using tab nine extension, go to extension, type tab nine, there just click install and enable. Same as before, you can see tab nine on the left hand side. Then you can choose the model that is code stroll. So once after you choose, same as before, you can ask it to explain a code, generate tests, write doc strings, fix code, and much more. In this way, you are able to increase your productivity of programming. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.